And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can add a camera shake effect. I'm going to show two methods and the first one is for pro users. Just make sure that your clip in the timeline is selected so it should be highlighted. If it is not, left click on it. I use the default layout and then I click on animation. You should find it here when you use the same layout. Let us stick to in first and here is a shake effect. Shake one, shake two. We can left click on it, it's going to get downloaded. And when it's downloaded, left click again, it should be added to your clip. You can adjust the duration right here. Shake 2 is just a variation of it. And this is, I think, a great effect for a transition. So if you want to transition to a new clip, you can make that shake in. It's an often used effect in music videos, but also in video vlogs, especially the music part of these video vlogs. There's also a shake effect in the out, but this is a pro effect. You can see that, so let me find it right here. It's called shake slide, for example. So you could use that, but as I've said, it's pro. And here are also pro effects that you could use, but you have to pay for it. But if you want to use the free version, stick to shake one and two for in. And if you want to create an out effect or a more adjustable manual effect. You can also create a camera shake under effects. Once again, I use the default layout and then open a drop down for video effects. And I believe it's currently under nightclub. You need to scroll a little bit, but it's a free version. Here it is, it's simply called shake. And to the right of it, there's a camera shake. So two options, both are free to use. You might have to download this. Once you've got that, click on the plus sign and then you have the shake element. Let me first get rid of the in right here so that we only have our new effect. And here you will adjust the duration by adjusting the element in the timeline. So make it shorter or longer here. And the manual adjustment also allows you to adjust the strength and the speed. If you want to have that for an intro for a transition, you should go a little bit higher with the strength and make it obviously shorter. Let me show the other one as well. This has a range and a speed, but range is almost the same as the slider before. So it's basically the intensity of the shake. And you could reposition that to the end of the clip to have an outro transition if you want that. So this would be the free version to do it. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.